just showed us that bullseye, right? Um, well, the city of Barberton in their Summit County, it got hit really hard with flooding. A number of people who live there, they had to be evacuated and multiple homes have flooded. Nearly three and a half inches of rain fell there over the past two days. Bob Jones is live there for us in Barberton. Bob, you spoke with the mayor and a woman who needed help getting out of her home. Oh, Katie, we are on West 14th Street, actually 14th Street West, near West Hopkins Street, and this street is one of several closed to traffic because of severe flooding. Take a look and you can see the water, which was between two and three feet at one point, covering almost all of 14th. Many of the residents here are dealing with flooded basements. About three and a quarter inches of rain has fallen in Barberton in just 36 hours. The stormwater proved to be too much, overtaking some streets that are prone to flooding, including 14th and 15th streets and Barber Road near the high school. Many people have three to four feet of water in their basements. Some have lost their hot water tanks, furnaces and other belongings. The mayor says about 10 people who were either elderly or have health problems were evacuated from their homes. We saw a neighbor, Bob Norris, help load Teresa McCreary onto his pickup truck. She recently had knee replacement surgery and with the uncertainty of the rising water in her home, she needed to get out as soon as possible. Our basement is flooded. It's coming up into the house itself. And uh, right now, everything that we have that was on the floor is up as high as we can get it. When you have almost 10 inches of rain in a month or less than a month, and all these tributaries and all this water coming in, there's very little you can do. Um, but we're doing everything we can to help mitigate the storm water. The city is now in the process of setting up shelters for those who cannot stay in their homes. We're told there are some shelters set up at the uh, YMCA and also at uh, one of the other facilities here in town for the Salvation Army. Several residents say they are frustrated because they've lived through other damaging floods in the same part of Barberton and they want to fix. The mayor says the city has been trying to mitigate the problem by cleaning out storm uh, sewers and they're trying to clean out more of the existing retention ponds. We'll have more on this developing story throughout the city of Barberton all day on News 5. Yeah. Live in Barberton, Bob Jones, News 5. Mm, yeah, you feel for those people. Okay.